This used to be a truck stop back in the 90s. Our building that we're sitting in now was a restaurant. So we're sitting on what we call the Miracle Mile. That's the one mile between I-81 and I-76, the turnpike. It's a good area. It's a very beautiful area. You know, right behind us is a stream where people like, you know, fly fish and stuff like that. It's quaint, but you're still close to things. You're like 30 minutes from the capital, Harrisburg, two hours from the nation's capital, DC, two hours from Philly, four hours from New York. It's a great central location. But the one thing I love about this terminal is just a family atmosphere. Whether they're Carlisle drivers or they're from Charlotte or Salt Lake City, no matter where they are, we're gonna treat them like family. You know, when my drivers come in, I give them my card and I'm like, that's my cell phone on it. And I, that's not a work number. That's the same cell number my grandkids have. I started trucking in the 90s, but I went to a larger company. I remember going up to a window, you know, and having hit the box to talk. The, that's the best thing I like about night, you just walk in the door. You walk in the door, there's your terminal manager, there's your driver manager, your safety manager. Everybody's approachable because they're all small terminals. Because when I drove trucks, that's what I wanted, right? I wanted to feel like I was part of the team to, to walk in, you know, that my opinion matters. And I've got great ideas from drivers. I did start at night in 2020 uh, as a driver, going through the whole DQP process, going at that point, uh, four weeks OTR with the trainer. About a year and a half later, I was offered a DQP facilitator position and then a driver manager position opened up roughly about a year later. And then about a month ago, I switched over to driver development manager. It's pretty awesome because I'm so used to being a driver and then actually getting into doing the office portion of it. It's a whole new learning experience, but it's really fun. So taking on the driver development position, it's mainly responsible for the trainees, making sure that they are getting the proper training that they need. And also with our drivers that we do have sat in trucks, just developing, coaching them, just to make sure they're doing everything properly as they can as a driver. Luckily, I've been through it all, so I know what it takes to do it. So it was a little easier for me to kind of move into this position. I hope every driver that comes through this terminal, they feel as though they're at home. You know, they're away from their hometown and they come through and they just want a homey feeling. And I feel as though that's what we provide here at, at Carlisle.